and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today I am here with a super exciting extreme couponing stockpile tour and believe it or not there is another room of stuff that I'm going to share with you guys in just a second. I always like to say when I do these stockpile tours that I'm not a hoarder. Yes there's quite a bit of products here but I regularly donate to local charities like the soup kitchen. Um Tell you the truth, a lot of the food items I get from couponing go straight to donation. I do periodic donations of personal care and um, household products and stuff like that. And a lot of times my family members, extended family, will come and shop at the stockpile and take what they want um, pretty regularly. Like I will tell them, hey, come and shop out of my stockpile and take some stuff. Um, last week, my cousin took like three bags filled with products. So I love being able to do that. So I give to my extended family regularly. Um, and I actually support seven people on a pretty um, regular basis. My parents, myself, um, both of my grandparents I give to, um, and then my great uncle regularly partakes of the stockpile as well. So there's a lot of stuff here, but there's a lot of different people who use these products. So I can assure you nothing's going to waste. If it goes to waste, we'll give it away, donate, or find some way to clear it out. So trust me, nothing is going to waste here in the stockpile. And the other thing I want to say is coupon limits were followed to obtain all of this stuff. I'm not a couponer who doesn't play by the rules. I don't use more than two light coupons if the coupon says a limit of two light coupons. So I don't bend the rules to get any of this stuff. This is just to show you if you play by the rules and you coupon the ethical way, you can still obtain tons of products for free and it's totally possible. Um, extreme couponing may not be the same as it was back 10 years ago, but this is just a living testament here that you can still coupon and get tons of free products every single week. And that's kind of what I do here on my channel is show you guys how I do it every week. So if you're new here, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel so you can see how you can get yourselves a stockpile too full of free products and just really, really great deals using manufacturer coupons and rebate offers and stuff like that just to make this happen. So I'm super, super excited to share all this with you. So that's kind of getting all the um, kind of misconceptions out of the way. I don't clear shelves. I follow the coupon limits. I don't misuse coupons in any way. And this is still all sorts of products for free. And you can still totally extreme coupon or not extreme coupon, whatever you want to do in 2021. So I'm super pumped. All right, let's just get on into this extreme couponing stockpile tour. So the first thing we're going to start out with is this shelf with um, medications and first aid items, pain relievers, vitamins, things like that. These are harder things to coupon. But I have been able to get a nice little stockpile full of products, um, personal care medication products. So it's really, really awesome. Now, this actually is a fixture from a store that went out of business probably 30 years ago. My great uncle actually had this fixture. He bought it when a store was going out of business. And um, now I have it to use for stockpiling. And it actually works out really, really great. So um, I have tons of eye drops. Too many eye drops. But I have some of those. And I actually have a couple more over here. Um, some Compede foot items. We got those on Black Friday at Rite Aid. Some Advil minis. Um, aspirin. I have several family members who do take aspirin, so that's good. Have some Band-Aids, some Thermacare cream, and the Campophanique. Um, we, we are getting those for free a while ago at Kroger, so that was great. Down here, you're going to see there's lots of Docalax. Um, those were huge money makers, and I would like to get rid of some of them, but nowhere actually takes them for donation. So, they're kind of just here right now. It's kind of what the story is. All right, um, lactate there, roll aids. These were all like money makers or really close to free. Um, the Alka Seltzer gum, I just got some of this at Target. My family really likes this, so that was a good item to stock up on. Down here, there's lots of vitamins, cold medicines. I've been having really bad like allergies lately, so these things have been really, really great to have on hand. Ricola and then some nasal um, spray and cold medicine down there. All right, so we got tons of feminine care products. I actually had a really big donation of feminine care products a few months ago. Um, and I still have quite a few here. So, yeah. But I have a lot of family members who do use feminine care products. 
and down there some tampons I and mean, some little liners down there. So pads, liners, poise products, all that. There's a lot of those products, but there's some bare areas. So there definitely were more, but I got rid of a lot of them with donating. Okay, in here is this little bin. Um, if you guys remembered my last stockpiled sore, I had a shoe organizer that I kept all these things in, like toothbrushes and little um, chapsticks and things like that. It just didn't end up working out, to be honest. It was like getting too full, and I didn't really have a good place to hang it up in this room. So I decided to just go and switch to these, like, bins. And most of these bins, like these, came from Dollar Tree for a dollar. So really easy to organize your stockpile. You don't have to have those fancy organizers from, like, Hobby Lobby or even Walmart. It's kind of expensive. Um, the best place to get these things truly are Dollar Tree, which is great. This was honestly, though, just a bin we had around the house that we didn't need anymore. So I did repurpose that, and it holds a lot of stuff. So I have, like, lots of chapsticks here. Um, scuncy items, hair masks, face masks, um, hair brushes, goody hair items, just random things that don't have really another spot. I just put them in there and that works really good. This cart currently is empty. I did keep other items in it, um, but I've got a better setup for that. So this is just room for expansion if I want to grow this thing even more, which is great. If you're wondering about this Nicorette down here, I don't know if anybody remembers this. I have... Um, again, no one around here takes donations for um, medications. This was a $10 moneymaker. It made me $10, so I had to get it. But I don't know anybody who uses Nicorette. Um, so I don't know. But it was a moneymaker, so I still have it. It made me $10. So, yeah. Um, okay, here I have lots of oral care products. We have, like, dental floss. Um, this is all dental floss. These are, like, little pocket packs or the Listerine Ready Tabs. I really like those. These are all manual toothbrushes, and it goes down pretty deep. And then these are power toothbrushes. Okay. Down here, I got a pretty big amount of toothpaste. I try to have it organized by type or whatever, because there's certain types that my family likes better than others. But I got that. Here I have Polygrip and Polydent. I really need to build my stockpile back up on that, because I have several family members who use those products. But for now, that's what I got. Mouthwash is another thing I don't have as much as I used to, which is fine. It just means we're going through it, but I have all these mouthwashes here. I have some Swiffer products. And down here I have back-to-school items, stationary items like whiteout, um, mechanical pencils, pens, regular pencils, highlighters, Sharpies, things like that. Um, over here, I have all sorts of cleaning items. This is kind of like a really... I'm really happy with the stockpile because back... Last year, at this time when COVID all started, I did not have a good cleaning stockpile. Like, we were one of those people who did not have a ton of cleaning supplies in our life. And thankfully, we did have just enough to get by. But if that taught me anything, same with toilet paper, that it's really good to be really stocked up on these products at all times. Um, so I definitely have a really good Lysol stock. And these items really were not couponed. Um, I, I just kind of grabbed them here and there, and I've built up a nice little stockpile. Now, the hand soaps all were couponed. These huge soft soaps were on clearance at a Kroger. I was actually out of town in St. Clairsville and ran into a Kroger there, and they were on clearance for $1.99. They were also part of the mega sale, dropping it to $0.99. Cents. And this is a 32-ounce soft soap. So, yeah, that was a really good deal. I grabbed a bunch of those. Back here, I have some Murphy's Oil, which I kind of even... Yeah, I guess I remember that deal. I forgot we even had that back there, honestly. Um, Murphy's Oil... And some Equate soap. These soaps from couponing. I had these Safeguard soap refills that were really cheap. I think they were like 50 cents or something. Some of them were free. Some of them are 50 cents. And then here are 40 cents. I am keeping these Suave little cheapo body washes. You guys know these are free constantly. They're 97 cents at Walmart. We get dollar off one coupons. Just making them free. These are really good for hand soap. Um, good hand soap refills. So I'm just going to keep them up here with the hand soap because they were really cluttering up my body wash stockpile area. So it's really a lot better up here. So that's good. Uh, down here, I have tons of Febreze products. Febreze spray, um, Mr. Clean Erasers, some of this stuff. Clorox wipes is another one. Clorox wipes and hand sanitizer. Most of this was not couponed um at all and that sucks but when i got them on just the stores had them i would grab them and i've built up a nice little stockpile okay and thankfully these things are back in very much stock in my stores i never thought i'd see the day again that you could find clorox wipes but thankfully you've been able to 
um, from now on, but nice to be stocked up. Okay, so down here I have some cleaning supplies. So I have lots of dish detergent here, dish pods. There's a big liquid one back there and these dish boosters. Here I have a bunch of dish soap. So some Ajax, palm olive. I love having a good dish soap stockpile. Um, and here's just some cleaning items from the Dollar Tree my family got and just threw them here in the cleaning stock. And then I have some Armor All that was free last year over at O'Reilly's. Does anyone remember that huge moneymaker on Swagbucks? That was great. And then down here, I just have some cleaning items. So Windex, Crud Cutter, Lemmy Shine, Fabuloso, stuff like that. Um, toilet bowl cleaner there. I keep all these items down here. So here I have a ton of shaving cream. And that's another one that I really, um, I didn't, back when COVID hit last year, I actually stopped couponing for a few months. That was one of the things I really didn't have any of. Um, I was down to like one can, but then it went free last year at Kroger um, where they were free. And I think even a moneymaker um, with the Kroger cash back and I bought it. So I stocked up like crazy and I still have a ton of that left, which is awesome um, down here. I have a bunch of Renewsits. Um, here I have some like car clip items, Febreze car clips. And in here I have all these Febreze and Airwick like warmers because those are free all the time. Here I have a ton, ton, ton of razors. And I mean a ton of razors. Razors here. Razors here. These are the cheaper disposable razors here. And then down here are all of my men's razors. So we got razors for a while. I think it's easy to say. Okay, so up here I have lots of like hairstyling items. So I have my hair gel here. And this is definitely two bottles. So that's definitely enough. Uh, it probably takes me a good year to go through a bottle. Six months to a year of hair gel. So that's, that's plenty. Um, Power Putty there. I got that for free at Rite Aid a long time ago um dove amplified stylers we got some dry shampoo that's always good to have um some curling gel um this is like hairspray i don't know and this is all mousse i have a lot of mousse but i have even more hairspray and a lot of people in my family use hairspray so this is something i like to always be really stocked up on for sure up here i have a bunch of women's deodorants um so suave lady speed stick soft and dry there's some suave up there sure have these um, Arm & Hammer ones, a Dove back there, and then these are all spray deodorants for women. And then I also have a bunch of baby wipes, and this is something I, actually I don't have a bunch, I only have four, so I'd like to have more of those. Um, that's something I didn't really get deals on too much, but thankfully Kroger did a really good deal on these a while ago, so that was really great. Down here I have all my men's deodorants, lots and lots and lots of men's deodorant, lots of different brands, Right Guard. Speed stick. I think we got some degree somewhere. Yeah, degree. More suave. Brute. Gillette. And all my spray deodorants, body sprays. Here's some like aquifer baby lotion, baby powder, some little remedies products. I just kept the gold bond up here because I didn't know where else to put it. And you guys are getting the full, full stockpile mess ups here. Hold on. Let me get this fixed. All right, all better. We're keeping it real here, guys. This is real life. All right, I got these Johnson's Baby Bars. Down here, I do have some Q-tips, organic Q-tips we got for free a while ago on um, Shopkick. Some cotton swabs here. Um, Noxema, this is something I didn't have a lot of, but thankfully it went free on Shopkick a while back. Vaseline Ponds, we got all these Oxy. Remember when Kroger did that deal and these were free last year? That was really great. Neutrogena. Um, sunscreen here that we're all money makers at Walmart pretty much. That's great. Down here, I have some clear nail polish. That's the only kind. Actually, to be honest, my family doesn't use nail polish all that much, but clear nail polish, if they use it, that's the only kind they use. All these say knives, that's something we use regularly. Um, most of my family uses. Um, all this is lotion. That's a lot of lotion. But uh, yeah, we'll take it. And they'll definitely give it away if people don't want it. Down here, sorry, it's a little dark. There's a bunch of women's bar soap. And then here's all of my women's body wash. There's not a ton, but you know, it's a fair amount. And then there is more men's body wash down here and men's bar soap. So that's really good. Hair products, shampoo and conditioners and stuff. That is definitely something I have too much of, to be honest. Um, so that's something I'm going to do a clear out on, but I have tons of suave. That is definitely the kind we get for free all the time is suave. But I have my fair share of other brands, Axe, um, dial 
the Suave Men's Hair and Body. I got this Bath and Body Works kind for free. They just sent me a coupon in the mail one day to get one for free, so I did. See down here is more men's, um, kind of whatever gender wants to use these. These are just regular two-in-one. And then here's a bunch of Suave Kids. And then here I have a ton of women's hair products. It's a lot, not gonna lie, it's quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, so this is all of my personal care slash some cleaning. I'm gonna take you guys in the laundry room because we just keep the laundry products there. It just makes more sense to, and our paper products are in there as well. So let's go look at that. All right, guys, so here is my laundry room stockpile or whatever. Um, this is not as packed as it was in other videos. If you've been watching my stockpile tours for a while, there was a time I had like two or three shelves of laundry detergent. I had some on the floor. There was so much. We've kind of hit a point where I don't have as much as I would like in here, but I'm still making it work. So let's just talk about everything. The paper products. Uh, this was a really recent deal I got on the Scott 12 double rolls. These were $2.99 on closeout at Kroger or clearance or whatever. So I grabbed, we grabbed a total of eight of these. Two of them have already gone off to my great uncle's house just to have him stocked up. Um, one of them is upstairs and the others are all down here just being stocked up, which is great. I still have a couple of the Babu toilet papers that were free Black Friday last year, are really cheap. I have some little toilet papers here. Basically, I grab these whenever I have overage. So if I have like 50 cents worth of overage, um, I will go ahead and grab one of these little packs of toilet paper and it's just comes out to free. And then I do have this. This was at Black Friday last year, and this we got last year when COVID was going on, and we um, did grab one of these, and I'll be honest, this stuff is so bad. It's kind of like a last resort, so it kind of just sits here. <laughs> All right, so we got that. Um, down here, we do have some paper towels, not as much as I'd like. I'll be honest, it's been quite some time since I've got a really good paper towel deal. So I did grab um, a pack of Sam's Club paper towels. It wasn't a bad deal. We are plus members there because there are some things that are just a really good deal at Sam's Club. So we do get um, a percentage of cash back on them. And so we just grab them just to have because I've not been seeing deals on paper towels. But if a deal does pop up, I will definitely do it and just be stocked up for next time. So that's great. I got a nice stockpile at this Clorox bleach. These have been really cheap lately, like a, less than a dollar at Walmart. And I got some at Target and Kroger, I believe. So really great. But of course, I used to overage to pay. Here I have a fair supply of laundry detergents. So I have these big Purexes here, all detergent, Tide. I'm loving that and there is room to expand because these are currently a really good deal at Walmart. So I'd love to get more all if I could. Um, down here, fabric softener. We got a fair share of Suave Itself, Snuggle, um, dryer sheets there, yeah. And then down here I have um, snuggle boosters and like the scent beads. We really, really like those. And there is back there, you can't see it, but there's a Febreze and wash scent booster down there. And then here I do have laundry pods. Um, we prefer liquid, but sometimes the deals are just on pods. So we have a really good amount of those too. All right. So that is my couponing stock pile. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. This is just to show you that through couponing, you can really get so much awesome products for you and your family at next to nothing. Pretty much everything I showed you guys today, I got for free after coupons and rebates. Like that's no joke. Pretty much everything and the things that we did have to pay for, so much easier to pay for them because we've saved all this other money through couponing. We don't have to go and pay, you know, what people pay for this stuff. We're not paying $3 for a bottle of Clorox. We're not paying $3 every time we need laundry detergent. We're getting these things for free or really, really close to free. And that just... Over the over time, that just adds up like so much, and I love that. So yeah, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so so much for watching.